One of the real challenges in disaster communications is that a lot of times we have people spread over a wide area and sometimes the radio communication is really difficult to some of the uh, people very far away. And the other thing is that we need to request help, usually from other cities. Uh, so the ability to communicate over longer distances is uh, challenging. Now one thing to remember is that if we are using FRS, GMRS radios for communication, they operate in a band called UHF, Ultra High Frequency Band, and there are several characteristics of this uh, range of frequencies that we need to understand um, to enable longer distances. The first thing is that you can increase distance by going to higher power levels. The challenge is that it's an exponential function, so even if you um, increase your power by a factor of 10, you're not going to get a significant distance um, increase. Um, usually people report somewhere between about oh, maybe 20% to 30% of what they feel it should be at uh, power times 10. What you really get in terms of distance advantage is the effect of increasing your height. If you can get higher up off the ground, you will significantly increase your distance. There are a couple of reasons for that. First, lower on close to the ground, you've got buildings, you've got trees, you've got cars, you've got objects, okay? All of those things between you and the person you try and talk to, those absorb some of the radio energy. So um, you need to get up higher above that stuff. Second is the curvature of the earth um, over a larger distance you lose a lot that goes um, along the path uh, through the earth, okay? So higher up, you get more of a direct um, line of sight to the um, uh, receiver station. Now, what does that mean? If you can go higher up in a building, and let's say the building is still standing, if you can go to usually like a second or third floor, people report that in the UHF band, they typically double their communication distance. Um, go up to maybe about the 10th floor of a building or something to that effect, and you may be able to triple your distance. So height above ground is actually more important than power levels. The other trade-off is that power levels, you increase the power level, but you're not getting that same amount of distance out of it. Double your power, and you don't double the distance. But what you do end up doing is running your batteries down twice as fast, okay? And in a disaster, electricity is usually not available, so you need to preserve your battery. So the point is that look for ways to raise your antennas, your radios, uh, get up high, okay, as long as that's safe. And um, some of the radios we use, especially um, in the emergency services uh, organizations, we have external antennas, and we raise them up high. We put them up um, on top of flagpoles. We raise them up in trees. That's how we get the height. So um, remember, height will help you with distance. The other thing is, remember that concept of a radio relay, like a relay race in school? If you need to communicate over a larger distance, you may only be only able to reach someone halfway of that distance. Why not put someone there to receive your transmission, listen to it, and then retransmit it on to the destination? And that's called a relay. So you're able to do large communication radio distances by using several people positioned along the path, just like a relay race um, that you may be familiar with in school. The more common thing we do for the more advanced system is we use what's called repeaters, radio repeater systems. And in that case, what we end up doing is we put a uh, radio receiver transmitter up on the top of, of a mountain or at the top of a big building or the top of a tower. And what that does is the higher power and the higher height lets us communicate over a larger distance. It's actually a combination of a relay, um, and usually the uh, repeaters have higher power, and more importantly, a significant height advantage. And we have repeaters um, that are able to cover most of the um, Bay Area. 
After a large-scale disaster, we are going to have lots of problems. More problems than we have resources to deal with. The CERT teams are going to be essential to helping the community. And unfortunately, there are not a lot of CERT members in most cities. So we're going to have to work together. We're going to have to work effectively. And communication is what ties it all together so we can do the greatest amount of good for the greatest number of people. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Uh, on the website, we have other presentations on emergency communication topics.